the acoustic guitar, I kind of disagree with both of those miking placements. If you put a lavalier like that on the inside, it's like ready to feed back. It's inside a chamber. It's like putting your hand over a mic. If you're playing with a pick, you're going to get pick sounds like mad because it's right under the pick, or you're going to get finger sounds like mad because it's right there. So I don't agree with putting that in there. I tried that once and immediately, no. You know, guys, when you've got a 500 or a $1,000 microphone that you can put in the right place on acoustic guitar, why do anything else? Yeah. 414, the 451, the C34, those condenser microphones are great. What I say is this, here's the guitar player like this. If you take a nice condenser and put it up here, Start as close to the sound hole as you can, and then start backing off from the sound hole till you stop hearing the fingers against the strings. If you start to get out further, you're going to start to get more room sound in it, and it'll start to sound distant. So you want to find the right spot, someone in there with ears, like you, your assistant out here moving it while the person's playing. Don't let the people touch the mic. You do the miking. You send the assistant out to touch the mic. Just don't let them. They'll break your mic in a New York second because they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> now you, they don't undo this thing, so you, before you know it, the the washers are gone in your boom stand and it doesn't work anymore. So, you know, you do it. One of my former students came in record just an acoustic guitar. He had the night, and it was a Thursday night, so he said, Mike, stick around. I want to show you the guitar miking I'm doing. He had the microphone here, and he had one microphone back here, a condenser right back here. And he played it for me and it had a big, full, round sound. Because he got some of the overtones that were in the room. It was right about here, top of the guy's head. Right about here where my finger is. Tick, tick, hello. And it was a great sound. So, okay, I'm giving you some ideas. You try some things. How do you like the sound of the guitar? That's what you do. Now, the electric guitar, I like taking the electric guitar direct, and then after the pedal board direct, and then a dynamic mic in front of the amp, but then get a 414 five or six feet in front of it, about five feet in front of it, to get all the overtones. So then you're happening. The electric bass, it's difficult to find a microphone that can hear that low. Uh, I like to take the electric bass direct, and then if you want to mic the amp, go for it also. I've mic'd an acoustic bass, I've mic'd it, and then I've taken it off its pickup that some of them come in with the Underwood pickup on the bridge. I've taken that direct, and I've usually always used the direct signal. It's cleaner and got more of the frequency response. 